What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. Uh, how's it going? What's up? That wasn't the most energetic opening, but that's fine. Sleepy time. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna do a little review of the Badlands show. Season two, episode nine, Nightingale sings no how do you say how do you guys say that? Nightingale? Do you Nightingale. Nighting. Nighting? You say Nightingale? Night Nightingale. Nightingale. Yeah, That's how I say it. Nightingale. Nottingham. Uh yeah, so uh we're gonna do a little review of this episode. And uh, if you if you don't know how we do our review, Jesse, why don't you go ahead and tell them what we do? All right. Well, we have four categories plus our overall. Our four categories are story rating, followed by visuals, then characters slash acting, and music slash sound effects. Damn right, we do. All rated with butterfly shurikens. Crazy, crazy shurikens. We which call is them. very apropos for this episode. Sorry, I'm just. Uh... Uh, yes, that sir. is it. That is it indeed. Yeah. So, uh, Mikey, usually start us off with your revu. Revu. Why don't you tell us what you got, uh, man? Re- review. Um, I actually enjoyed this episode uh, quite a bit. You but son of a bitch. For, for my story. He's got here. He comes uh, Quinn. For... <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I know man. it's fun. I know, dude. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna hold it against I was, you, man. Uh, uh, Three point five uh chris uh for my story uh no i uh in all seriousness i like this episode because of course now we finally realize and found out who flea was and that was obviously Minerva, right, the basis for red was, hot chili peppers i mean right, yeah yes there was a lot of uh theory going around about this and uh it was revealed today in this episode uh, it was so a correct was cool. theory yeah yes I like the beginning too of the episode when we actually saw her as a little right, kid. Yeah, that was cool. Trapped in a box, kind True of a thing. That. True that. Um, and also another little reunion that uh, besides the the flea and and Baji, the we got the Waldo and the Sunny um, reunion. True. So this was um, I always liked that kind of a thing, True. and you guys know from our Walking Dead videos and all that kind of stuff. I love the reunion. You love kind reunions, of man. You're you're like because a heartfelt people kind of dude. don't see each other for such a long time, <laughs> and then they and do. Then they saw it. <laughs> and then they said, other. "Hi, I see you again." And they love each other again. And then they kissed off camera. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> so that was a 3.5. Okay, uh, visuals. What do you got? Visuals, I'm giving it a 3.5 as well. Ooh. Um, I think the explosion was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I like, um, I like how everything was kind of slow motion and... Um, you didn't really hear anything. You saw people covering their ears because of the explosion, even though we didn't really hear the the the, the explosion go off. Um, I, of course, uh, the little flea scene in the beginning I enjoyed too because it was kind of cool when she kicked her kicked uh, the locks out of the box. And that was cool, yeah. And, um, and I think, I mean, they always do a good job with their fight scenes. But for this episode uh, especially, I think because now we're getting to the end, they put a little bit more into their fight scenes this time. There's a lot uh, more, too. There was, like, a lot yeah, more. Yeah, a lot more yeah. maybe, like, CGI. Like, everything seemed a little bit more crisp. Like, they spent more maybe money and maybe more um, – because they did, like, real smooth spins. And they did a lot of – it sure, wasn't – it didn't yeah. look – like, because remember how we, we complained a lot about how it looked like ropes and things yeah, like yeah, that yeah. in the beginning? I didn't get that, especially with the Tilda Minerva fight scene, um, as well as the Sunny uh, scene where he no, it looked off. good, yeah, yeah, it looked good. So it looked like they put a lot, a little extra into these. So I can imagine what what the finale is going to be like. Uh, so yeah, three point five um, for the characters. I, I'm giving it a three point five. Also, um, you know, Quinn uh, Quinn always kind of steals the show for me. Um, I enjoyed the scene with him and Vale, uh, with Henry, where he took Henry from her and oh, he yeah. said, and, and he locked Vale up and he said, get her out of here. Um, but one, one character that doesn't really ever get so much like do from me was, was Minerva this episode. I liked, um, I think she kind of pulled off a really good, uh, acting job this with, with Baji mm-hmm. and, yeah. and then with the Tilda scenes and stuff like that and. Um, yeah, so I, you know, uh, the, the one downfall, but I still kept it at 3.5 was, was Sonny. Sonny's been disappointing me lately. 
uh, as far as his the way he's he's acting, the way he's he's just he's giving his lines. I don't know if that's just because um, he's getting some shitty writing for his character. Yeah, I, I think I think that's I, the case. You know what I, I mean, think it's, he's it's more like shit. like like hey. You know, like with the like, like last week, he's got these him. weak one-liners. Yeah, he's yeah, got like, like these last, weak you, proclamations. You say, yeah, 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 yeah you know, man. Like even with him and Baji, this this episode. Yeah. Uh, so I still gave it a three point five, and then for music, um, the final fight scene, I gave it a three point five. The final fight scene with Tilda and and Widow, I thought was awesome. The music that they played. Um, when when Tilda was deciding to fight back and said, "Listen, we're gonna fight to the death," kind of thing, I thought was was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so. Not a bad episode. Obviously, one of the highest ones that I've ranked this this series uh, so far. Um, so three point five overall. I'm happy. I think that next week's going to be fucking badass. And let's see, let's see how that goes. Yeah. What do you, do you get at that? Cool. Uh, all right. So on to me. Uh, so story. Uh, I'm also giving it a three point five. Uh, yeah, I like a lot of meetings. I, I, I enjoy it. Like you said, the, the beginning where we got to see it was flea. Like they're giving us some answers, uh, you know, yeah. a lot of, a, a lot of shifting alliances. Um, I like what they're doing with, with Baji's character. Um, I just like where they're, I like where they're pushing it. I like that. They've kind of split people off and, and they capture yeah. people. Like I just, I like where they went with it. It, 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 you know, story for the most part, they do really well with the story. Like for me so far, they've pushed this story in, in a really cool direction it feels natural. It feels right. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I know ha- sometimes we say like, "What the hell were they thinking?" But most yeah. often, I think the story we're, we're all on board with where they're going and how they're doing. It's just that maybe some of the execution is a little iffy if we, you yeah. know, when we talk about it. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. Uh, visuals. Given that a three point five. Um, I mean, I was gonna give it a four, but. You know, it, honestly, it's not going to affect the rating too much. I mean, so I could, you know, I'm going to stick with the 3.5 because, um, again, it's good. Like you said, the explosion was great. The stuff in the beginning with Little Flea was great. Uh, the, the, you know, a lot of the uh, sword action was really cool. Um, I did, I did think the fight scene at the end, although it was cool looking, was like it was a little much. Like, damn, if if she really wanted to hurt her, like, obviously she would have stabbed her as, as e- or either one of them would have stabbed either one of them as they were spinning. You know, like it was just kind of like a little too flashy just for flashy's sake. You yeah. Know, usually right. that's usually that's Sonny's deal, and they keep his to a minimum, and he usually uses his environment. But you know, but anyway, it's still g- great stuff. Like you said, so CGI stuff was good. The blood was great. Yeah. Right. You know. Uh, so yeah, three point five uh, characters. I'm also going to give it three point five. You know, Quinn, you know, he's getting creepier. He's just, he's really, but he's playing into it, and it seems really good. How, I, it seems really good. I like how they're doing it, obviously. There's something wrong with him. We know, and he's, you know, got his thing. But um, yeah. I kind of agree, too. The Widow did real well this time. Sonny was a little lax still. Like, it was lacking. Like, and I think it's the lines are giving him. I, you know, I, I mean, he's Probably. a good actor. I just, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, Beji, I, I, I liked him in this episode, man. When he's on here, he, he can give Quinn a run for his money. You know, Nick Frost, man, he's he's good, man. He no, nah, he was you know, good. Yeah, he was good. They gave him a lot. They gave him. A, he's been getting it. a lot more he's story. Gr- because so. you know what? They should someone like that. That you don't yeah. just bring someone like like that into a show for a season, yeah. for however long, and not and not play up to his, you know, yeah. thing. Plus, there were a lot of bro yeah. hugs in this one. You know, you notice the f- that <laughs> they since yeah. they brought Nick Frost into it, they've done a lot more modern type of things. Also, they're out of the, the, the like the Regency locations, but I don't know. Still, not Regency, but Barony or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, music give it a three point five. Uh, good stuff. I noticed it a lot. Some of my favorites. You know, they continue to play that. The the. It sounds like they're playing metal poles on other metal poles when they're doing the Quinn music. And then in the beginning with Flea, they had people like clapping, like pew, 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 pew. it was like I just like that little melody in there. But it sounded like they was they were slapping that shit, right? So for me, overall flat three point five. Um you know, strong three point five though, you know, close close to a four. Uh yeah. you know, so that that's gonna be me. What do you got, Jess? Well, I'm significantly higher than you guys, uh, which is unusual. I'm normally the low one here. Yeah. Uh, story rating, 4.5. Oh, I shit. really enjoyed. Wow. I really, really enjoyed the Baji stuff, the MK stuff, mm-hmm. and the Sunny stuff. And then at the end, I even enjoyed a little bit of the Tilda Widow. Yeah. So 
And then we also got the story between, you know, Waldo and Sonny there, which was a good hark back to the yeah, first there was season. Some good I like that. Good meetings, there were good meetups in this one. Yeah. Uh, visuals was a 4.0. I yeah. really enjoyed the explosion. Uh, and the blood work this episode was just great. I mean, just great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, characters and acting, 4.5. Again, Baji. Freaking. I, I've started to dislike Quinn a little bit. He he, mm-hmm. he does the, yeah, it's the same uh, yeah, and all that crap same. too much. He did I love put it on a little thick. Yeah, yeah it's, it's but they're, getting, they're like, yeah. again, I can understand why brain tumor, all that. Yeah, mm. but he's going insane. So I, I love the acting. It's just he's a little too much. Yeah, insane but in the membrane. Sonny and them all all do act in this episode. It's actually pretty freaking good. No. Uh, music, surprisingly, I think the highest rating I've given music. 4.0 yeah, just wow. because of, like the hand clapping and all that stuff. yeah all those little yeah little yeah you know, and, the, and and the sound effects are great too a lot of yeah. the, you know but the, you know you notice they've added that when they turn their heads like I, it's it's yeah. subtle and i don't know if people like realize it but i mean they obviously take them take they've taken cues from old martial arts yeah. movies those I are think great they're putting, like, i think they're putting a lot i think they're just putting a little bit more of a budget into these last couple Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why we're like noticing it a little. You know what I mean? Yeah, I absolutely. I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. So, what do yeah. you got overall, man? Uh, my overall is a four point oh. Pretty decent episode. I enjoyed it. I really, I actually enjoyed it thoroughly. And yeah, it was. It was. I, I think I was liking the live reaction because I was engrossed in it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think that puts our group to a three point five. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It's, again, solid three point five. You know, Very I mean. Solid. Yeah, and and I kind of wanted to change some of mine to a four. I probably should have like maybe like visuals in the story to uh, to a four, but it would have it wouldn't have really changed it. It's still a three point five, right? For me, yeah. so mm. um, overall three point five. But I mean, good good stuff. I yeah. mean, I I think I think we yeah. all enjoyed this. You know, this was a good second to last. You know, and what you know, we'll get into uh, in in the next video the discussion. We'll get into ramifications of what happened. But um, okay, so I think that's gonna do it for us, right? Absolutely believe so yes of course don't forget to reach us on all social medias at third person pod of course on youtube write those comments below we love hearing from you guys don't forget about our instagram and we love posting things on there you guys check that out and of course itunes and facebook that's right dang it that's right that's dang right. it uh yeah so and also if you haven't checked out the review and discussion i'm sorry the live reaction and discussion for this video by all means, go ahead and do that now. Well, not right now. Wait till the video ends. Um, and also, if you wouldn't mind, you want to want to hear a funny little retro podcast? Go check out uh, Retro Squat, RetroSquat.com, or at Retro Squat. It's a little uh, retro '80s podcast that I do. I'll let you go and see what it's all about. Right, Jess? That's right. And as usual, right down there below, uh, you got ComicBlitz.com. Code third person pod three months three bucks buck a month. What more can you ask for for unlimited comics? I don't know. You'd what, have to be crazy. Well, can you? Yeah, you can't. Huh? You just can't. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review of episode nine of season two of Into the Badlands. We've got one more episode. One more episode to the finale, the big season two finale. Where's it gonna go? What's gonna happen? Who's gonna die? Who's gonna get kidnapped? Who's losing limbs? Who might have sex? We don't know. But all that well, and more. Not Tilda. <laughs> all that and more on the last episode of Into the Badlands. We'll see you next time. Peace out.